everyone, my name is Stephanie. I'm with Remote Patient Devices, and today you're going to learn how to put a blood pressure cuff on the proper way. This is gonna help you make sure that when you're putting this on, you don't get inaccurate readings. So let's go ahead and begin. Step one, this is going to involve just the blood pressure cuff, and we'll get to the device later. For the blood pressure cuff that you see here, make sure that the cuff is in a sleeve-like position as shown. This is going to allow you to slide the cuff up your left or your right arm, depending on your doctor's recommendation. Step two, this is the most important step of the process. Let's start with the left arm when taking your blood pressure. When you take the cuff and you slide it up your left arm, make sure the tubing is coming out by your elbow and not by your shoulder. If it is up by your shoulder, it needs to be turned around. Otherwise, you can get an inaccurate blood pressure reading. Make sure the tubing is down the middle of your arm. We're gonna tighten the cuff again in step three, but it's very important that the tubing is down the middle of your arm because on the inside there, you see a sensor as shown here that can detect the artery to produce an accurate blood pressure reading. Step three, this is where you will tighten your blood pressure cuff. As shown here, you wanna make sure that the cuff is tight enough, not too loose and not too tight. And what we'll do is follow the two finger rule. If you can fit two fingers in between the cuff and your arm, you are good. You can go ahead and go on to step four. If you can fit more than two fingers in between the cuff and your arm, you want to tighten that cuff more to make sure you get an accurate blood pressure reading. Once you feel comfortable with steps one through three and positioning the cuff, make sure you plug the blood pressure cuff into the device on the left side as shown here. If you plug the cuff into the right side, you could damage the device. Step five, press start. Make sure once you press start, that cuff will automatically inflate and start taking your blood pressure. You'll notice that the cuff automatically inflates. And as shown here, you'll start to see numbers appear on the blood pressure device. Then once the numbers are done and they give you a blood pressure reading, your blood pressure has been taken, but that's not the end. You can go ahead and take the cuff off, but don't press stop on the device, otherwise that could interfere with the transmission. The first thing you're going to see is the bars going up and down, just like on your cell phone, because it is trying to reach a cell tower, because these do work through a cellular connectivity. Then you will see an arrow with the cloud shown here, and that means it's going in the right direction and those readings have been sent to the cloud. The last thing you will see before your device shuts off and goes to sleep is an OK symbol, as you see here. The OK symbol lets you know that those readings have been transmitted successfully. You don't wanna talk or chew gum or eat anything of any sort while your blood pressure is being taken as this could interfere with your blood pressure readings. If you have any issues with your device, please don't hesitate to call technical support at the number provided here. Thank you.